Welcome, everyone. Um, I am Mayor Sandra James, and on behalf of the city of Cupertino, I am very excited and delighted to welcome everyone here today to make um, another uh, comment um, about our new library, our wonderful new library, which will be open the last weekend in October, and to acknowledge some of the people who have made major donations to our library campaign and to some of the people that are working very hard on that campaign. And to that end, I would like to start out by introducing Nicole Lee, who is the uh, library campaign project leader, and she is going to introduce, I think, uh, another person or two, and then we will accept the uh, donations. Thank you, Mayor uh, James. I'd like to introduce the campaign chair, and that's Barbara Rogers. Barbara, would you like to raise your hand for everyone? And we also have on the campaign committee, Jack Hubby. Thank you, Jack. At this time, I would like to have uh, the deputy sheriffs come forward. They have given us a generous contribution of $10,000 towards our library, and we are just ecstatic. And if they would like to come up, and then we can go ahead and present the check to the city. Thank you. Um, as most of you know, I am very, very close to law enforcement. Um, they're my family, I'm their family, and I am delighted to tell you that they have decided as a unit, as a group, so while we have some of the deputies and some of the um, the uh, uh, leadership here today to represent all of them. This check is from all of our law enforcement, all of our sheriff's deputies. Um, honoring not only the children, but the community in general. And while they are here to provide our safety, they are also a very important part of our community and want to make this statement that they are supported and helpful in any way they can to acknowledge the various things that the community do. Library services and educational institutions are at the top of their list. So I would like to introduce Jose Salcido, who is the president of the Deputy Sheriff's Association. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I, this check of $10,000 we are presenting to Cupertino uh, for the library project. And what we want to do is, one, let the community know, one, we love working in this community. We consider Cupertino our city. And we are going to fight as hard as we can to uh, combat crime and other problems that may occur in this community. And of course, this check is symbolic that two great tools to fight crime are books and education, and that is why we're stepping up to support such a beautiful project as the new library for the city of Cupertino. Thank you. Thank you. We want to do a photo op, so maybe we can move away from the podium over here a little bit. Okay, now we would like to acknowledge um, some members of our Indian community. They have been working very, very hard to raise money for the library, and I know their donation of $12,000 came from 300 checks. So it is definitely a community effort. We are very excited, and I would like to ask someone to speak. Who wants to speak for you? Hello, I'm Angira Day, and um, I had um, pledged $25,000 from the Indian community, and we are proud to say that we have raised $12,000, and we are still working on raising more. And all of us are trying very hard, going to grassroots level uh, Indian community and raising this money. But we feel very proud that we are part of the community. Library is a very important uh, to our community, and we are being able to do something for the library. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> and today with me is Sukanya Pushkarna, who is actually uh, leading our campaign, and uh, Chanchal Sahai, 
and Charu Agrawal, and all of us are putting our efforts together. Thanks. Can we take a, a photo, please? Thank you. Um, I also want to acknowledge an individual who has given an individual donation but doesn't want to be, um, <laughs> doesn't want us to tell you how much um, and doesn't want to say anything, but Dennis Whitaker, who is a State Farm agent and optimist and an important uh, and active participant in the community, um, has uh, given a very nice donation to our library. Thank you, Dennis, very much. And the last group we'd like to recognize today is uh, the Moon Festival. The Moon Festival, which is in its sixth year, am I correct? Sixth year. Um, most of you have probably gone to the Moon Festival. Obviously, I know I have. I've been a bride and a fan dancer, and I think I'm supposed to be an opera singer this year. Um, Lucy always has something exciting for me to do. <laughs> and they very generously have been saving their pennies to make a substantial donation. So they are uh, here today to give $50,000 to the library. Lucia, do you want to come forth and bring your committee and Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I'd like to in, um, invite my group to come here. Uh, Philando Chen, the father of Moon Festival, also, he's also the founder of the Sinju Sister City Association. He's the one that um, established the relations between Cupertino City and Sinju City. And I'm also one of the original member. And then our board members, uh, Sun Liu, James Liu, uh, our chairperson this year, Dennis Wen, uh, and then our committee chair, um, Jenny Yang. Uh, yes. Uh, and then our supporter, Tina. Uh. <laughs> this is my great honor and pleasure to represent the Moon Festival of Silicon Valley today to give a check. I want to thank the city of Cupertino for the past five years to host the event. During that time, thousands of people have came together here to enjoy the richness and diversity of our intercultural community. In order to historically leave the message of success effort of hundreds of volunteers of Moon Festival of Silicon Valley, we are able to make our most sizable donation to date to end our whole room in this fine new building now being constructed. In an effort to acknowledge the importance of communications, both within and between culture, I emphasize both within and between culture, I am pleased to present this lasting gift and have asked our recognition plates be placed in the news media room. Thank you, Cupertino. Thank you, America. People working together work wonders. Very nice. Let's do a photo up in front of the podium. Um, I want to let Nicole say a few words before we go, um, and then uh, and then I have some things I want to say also. One other person I f forgot to introduce, he's our president of, of the Cupertino Library Foundation, and that's Pat Rogers. Thank you, Pat. 
I do want to thank everyone. Please go to our website. It's www.cupertinolibrary.org. You'll find the latest news about the library uh, opening, which will be the last weekend in October, and also our other events that are coming up in the community. And once again, thank you very much, Mayor James, uh, for the lovely press conference you've held today. And I encourage everyone to give generously to our, uh, to our campaign and see you at the grand opening. Sandy? Um, I just want to tell you a little bit about the library campaign. This is the biggest public works uh, project in the history, the 50-year history of Cupertino. And it's a um, $25 million, maybe more, $25 million <laughs> project, which includes a beautiful new library behind us, a uh, beautiful community hall, which is also the seat of government, our council chambers, and a, and a gorgeous building that will be available to community groups for dinners, for presentations, for performances, and a plaza in the middle, which is um, wireless, and which is available uh, with a little coffee shop. And across the street here, there's going to be a new restaurant. And, uh, and as that development gets built, they'll have, there'll be another park there and, um, and some other uh, retail and residential and office space. This will be a dynamic, dynamic part of our city. And we know that you are going to want to be a big part of it. We will be having another uh, wonderful press conference and presentation on June 7th at 3.30 right here. And all of the schools in the Cupertino School District have done murals to put on this blue fence around the construction site. Um, they have been working diligently on it all school year. We will be doing, and Nicole will be joining me, we will be doing a presentation. And I hope there will be a number of checks that we can accept that day also, that you will want to be one of them. Uh, if everybody that was part of this could come on back up here, it would be very nice. I think this group, this is the second press conference we've done like this, where we've recognized uh, a number of people. And I think this group is particularly meaningful because it represents uh, various aspects of our community. We have a private um, uh, business person, has his own business in town, and is very active in nonprofits in the community. We have the Moon Festival, which very readily represents a lot of the cultural activity, and particularly the uh, Asian community. And we have the Indian community, very well represented, and we have law enforcement. So, and the chamber happens to be back here, too, because I know that, that uh, Jack Hubby is a member of the chamber, as well as those people that have worked diligently, including the Rogers and Nicole and, and Paul, and all of those that have served on the Library Foundation, the Library Commission, Friends of the Library, and now this committee. That's what makes this community so unique. It's all of us doing something together for the betterment of the community. I'm particularly proud of everyone who is here today. I hope all of you will want to be a part of it too. And as Nicole has told you how to reach her, you can also call City Hall at any time and we we'll all be very happy to tell you how to get involved. So thank you for coming and thank all of you for your generosity, your help and your work. We're proud of you all. Thank you.